Okay, hi, welcome to my video for making um, flaky Caribbean roti. Um, this is quite a simple recipe, uh, really versatile and dead easy to do. Um, for this you're going to need um, some plain flour and some self-raising flour, some uh, bicarbonate of soda, um, some salt, uh, uh, 250 ml of water, some corn oil or other vegetable oil, uh, scales, mixing bowl, rolling pin and a large frying pan. Okay, so um, to the ingredients. You're going to need um, 350 grams um, of uh, flour. Um, you can use all plain flour. If you're going to do that, you're going to need to add a little bit more bicarb. Um, but a lot of the recipe books kind of look for a 50-50 mix of self-raising and plain. I like to use you know, a little less of the self-raising. seems to work um, okay, but um, that would be 175 grams of each. Um, and two table, two uh, teaspoons rather of bicarbonate of soda and a pinch of salt, 250 ml of water. That's all you need at this stage, and um, we're going to mix those together now. Okay, so I've got just over 350 grams um, of flour in there. Um, it's definitely um, better to have uh, too much water uh, and not enough because you can always add some more flour to it if it's a little bit the mix is a little bit wet. To that, I'm going to add two teaspoons of bicarbonate of soda and just mix that around a little bit a little pinch of salt a lot of the recipes don't really call for salt but I think it does help the flavour um, while it's cooking um, mix that around a bit and as I mentioned before this is a um, quarter of a litre 250 ml of water you can just throw it straight in, you don't need to pour it bit by bit. Um, all it, in it goes, I'm just going to mix that together to form a dough. Okay, so it's come together in the dough now. Uh, make sure you've got a work surface or a board um, with a bit of flour on there to stop it sticking. Um, a lot of the recipes I've read for flaky roti um, say, you know, need it for 15 minutes and all this. I mean, I think. In my experience, five minutes is fine, uh, just so everything's all bound together. This is not a deluxe dish. Um, uh, this piece of dough will make enough roti for four, four flaky rotis out of this, um, and they're quite large. So um, uh, what I'm going to do now is just knead that for a few minutes or so, um, so it's all well mixed, um, and then show you what to do next. Okay, so I've needed this for a couple of minutes. What I start to notice is the dough is a little bit sticky. That means there's, there's still a little bit too much water in it. So you can always add um, a little bit more flour to it. It shouldn't stick to your hand. Um, if you feel it sticking to your hand, keep dusting it with a little bit more flour um, and keep working the dough. Um, you can see it's now it's looking more, a lot more like a bread dough. Um, carry on doing this for a couple of minutes until it's been properly worked. Okay so I've been kneading that for about five minutes now, it's all come together in a dough. Very much got like the feel of like a pizza dough, that's kind of what you're looking for. Um, as I said this makes four um, flaky rotis, so you just want to divide this up into four portions, you know you can roll it into a ball and do it that way or what have you, but just take your best guess at um, dividing the mix into quarters um, then what you want to do a lot of the recipes will say um, uh, roll, roll these uh, pieces into a ball and like let them rest for ages and all the rest of it but I've not found any real benefit to the quality or the taste uh, in doing that so um, these are going to be rolled out so what I do is just dust the edges with flour um, Try and keep them in like sort of square shapes. I'm going to roll it out into the into the full bread in a moment to get those covered um, in the flour a little bit, and then get your rolling pin uh, ready to for uh, the next stage.
Okay, um, now we're going to roll out the rotis. What you're going to need this way, you're going to need the corn oil or vegetable oil. Wouldn't use a ground nut oil or peanut oil or anything like that. I think the, the taste is a bit overpowering, but any good vegetable oil. Um, I just usually have a little bowl handy um, because um, why the roti flakes is because you're going to build layers into it, and I'll show you how to do that now. Um, so, yeah, reflour. Um, the, ro the little roti quarter from the dough. These don't need to be perfect. Um, I think if you look at a lot of the Caribbean chefs um, who have been making this for years, they do a lot more folds and they get things in nice circles and stuff, but um, I'm totally happy just keeping it in a square. You're going to want to roll that out to um, about six to eight inches really um, I'm not doing a very good job here one handed but um, when you've got that into a, an eight inch square um, I'll show you what to do next okay so you can see there um, it's uh, roughly uh, square uh, now to do the layering um, what you're going to need to do is um, just add, I've got a dessert spoon here and I find that's, that's usually about right for the first fold. Um, so it's like a covering of the oil there. What you need to do is just dust that with some plain flour. Um, obviously it's layering so if you don't add the flour the layers will stick to each other and just come out in a clump flour just helps it to the layers to separate and what you're doing is folding it into thirds in on itself so first fold into the middle or just over the middle rather so about so you've got about a third left a third of the roti um, exposed we do the same again so just a touch of corn oil on the top surface there and again a little dust into the flour and bring that outside edge over and then finally, again, some oil on the top surface and a little dusting of the flour. And you can just bring that over and over so that you have essentially a little square. And you see there it's got how it's got the layers. So um, when we roll this out, those layers are going to... Um, uh, become pressed into the into the flattened roti before we cook it. So we've got four of those things to do, um, and then then we can move on to the uh, the final prep. Okay, so um, I've got my four um, rotis prepped there. Um, you're going to need to hold on to the oil um, uh, for the cooking process and um, flour just like for rolling out now for the final prep of the rotis. What we're going to do now is obviously flatten that out into the kind of roti bread that you know and I certainly love. Um, you want to roll this out um, now as big as you pan so that's I think a 10 inch um, frying pan so looking for like a 10 inch square. If you're good at rolling things into circles you can do that that's fine. Um, I'm going to roll that out now and then, then move to the cooking process. Okay, you're going to want um, a fairly hot pan for the cooking process. I've got my roti here rolled out to um, about 10 inch square there. Um, I'm using, I've got an electric hob, um, uh, I presume on gas you're going to need to um, crank it as well. Um, I've got it on maximum for the first few minutes and then generally just turn it down um, just a touch. Um, the, the, the Getting the balance right, you don't want the pan so hot that the the roti burns before it's had the chance to cook um, and likewise you don't want uh, to have to stand all day uh, waiting for it to get a little bit of colour so hopefully that's warm enough now and the first instance you don't need any oil um, the flour will stop it sticking um, in the pan there and you just want to start the cooking process off so um, at this stage what you want to do is cook this for a couple of minutes aside um, no more than that. You start, might start to see some bubbles forming 
um, on the roti, that's fine. Um, it shouldn't stick to your pan at all. Um, just kind of cook that maybe you know 90 minute 90 seconds um, on one side. You you can feel it kind of drying out, um, and then uh, once it's on one side, flip it over. That's got a bit of colour there, but it tells me what pan is just about right. Um, and why that while that's cooking, you can. Take your oil, another um, dessert spoon, place this, place a, that over the surface of the roti that you've just cooked. And you'll see it starts, might start see it start to puff up, that's the layers separating inside. Um, what you want to do is kind of press them, keep them pressed down. If you if you let them expand fully, you're probably going to tear and um, it doesn't make the separation as, as effective. But um, once that's uh, Cooks for a few moments. Just toss it over with your hand. Get burnt in the process. Now you're really going to start to um, get some colour onto it. Um, while that's that side down, another uh, dessert spoon of the corn oil on there. Ready, ready for turning. Um, when you get um, confident and used to making these things, what I generally do is while that's going for that, that first cooking process before you put the oil on is rolling out your other rotis um, so that you can you're ready to go with the with the next one um, straight away. Um, so you, do, you don't want these things swimming in oil. You don't need to like shallow fry them or anything. You're just um, covering on the surface. You see there now you've got um, almost like a like a, a pancake colour. You know, crepe colour, an ombred sort of colour. Um, to finish these things, um, to, and to bring out the flakiness, you can just serve them like this, it's absolutely fine. Um, things that they, uh, recipe books and um, speaking to uh, uh, people from Caribbean families, generally, you're going to want to scrunch it up a bit. So. Make a little line down the surface. You don't want to go all the way through. You want to just be able to score it so that you can fold it in on itself. You can get as much colour as you want. There. So you've got, got it folded over nicely. Just finish it for a few moments. Um, you want to get yourself um, a nice clean tea towel. Um, probably not the one your granny gave you for your wedding. Um, I've got a clean one. This row is probably done. So we can then Ooh. hopefully I've got enough charge left on my phone. Pop that in the middle of your tea towel. Bring the ends over each other and just break that. You can maybe hear that crunching there. And what that'll do is bring out the flakiness a bit more and uh, there you have it that's the uh, Caribbean style flaky roti and that's great with your homemade curry with just some roast chicken some jerk chicken um, lamb whatever you want um, and it's a quick cheap easy delicious um, bread from the West Indies and I love it and I hope you do too. Thanks.